okay am i audible i think my voice is clear right okay so before we start our in possession there are few ground rules so use the live chat to ask any query you have and uh, share aloud respect each other don't use offensive chat messages and please don't spam be present stay present and engage throughout the session and be curious be an have an open minded mindset and adopt a growth mindset to expand your perspective and sit back soak in and enjoy so let's get started now first of all welcome you all thanks for joining in it means a lot and in this session i'll be walking you all through about what is dsc what it has to offer and some more similar questions so before we start uh, let me introduce myself i'm samir sani dsc bkb it lead and if you want to connect me uh, here's my twitter handle so your kaze with e being 3 there you can connect to me okay then let before we start here is the agenda of today what we are going to do so summary before we start what is dsc that we'll cover first then dsc's impact on a community then we'll have uh, see on goal of a dsc what dsc will do in the future then events by google and dsc of course that we will be conducting and some of the events that google has to offer and then the then the dsc solution challenge that's a bigger goal and at the end of the session we'll have an q and a also we'll talk about how you can join us as a member okay then let's start now first of all what is dsc an overview well dsc is stand for developer student club and these are university based community groups for students interested in google developer technologies and by joining a dsc students grow their knowledge in a peer to peer learning environment and build solution for their local businesses and the community so in short dsc is a club run by students for students and is backed by google as they provide dsc early free educational content that we get to you in the form of workshops events hackathons info session and much more and also here's the main thing dsc arriving at a campus that is on dkbit is a golden opportunity for us as we can leverage google developer technologies and also we and our campus are the selected few across the india as there are only 278 dsc in india and around 1000 all across the globe so this is a moment of proud and we should celebrate it it's really an awesome thing and as we are a part of community filled with awesome student developers that we will all get a chance to connect with and a build with so that's what dsc is all about like it's a great community and we all focus on changing the world through our uh, solutions products and what we build so that's what uh, dsc will be doing now how a dsc impacts its community well of course first by building projects we build projects for local businesses as i've told earlier and also for those who want to do something on their own like someone has an idea about an app or an application but they want they don't know how to make it they can contact us and in place of them we can either we can teach them how to build that app or we can make them for them the second thing is we learn we help each other in gaining new skills okay so the next thing we connect we meet each other in our campus well we also get to know about students who we didn't know that have developer techno uh, technology and skills 
So that's how we connect. And at the end, doing these three things, build, learn, connect, will eventually grow and apply our new learnings and connections to build a great solution for our local partner. Now, before we move on further, here's a video of a DSP in Indonesia. And these are university students just like you and me. Now, what they have done is that they have created a flood alert app. Now, which, now this app, now this whole case, highlights the fact that DSP's community-driven projects are not only for project showcasing or just filling the record. They're literally helping uh, solving problems that literally help uh, the people living there. It, it impacts on a ground view and they are affecting a wide population. Some of them are even saving lives. Now these solutions in this case, uh, the flood app, L float that uh, they call it, are used by locals. And uh, if it, of course, is a business related app. It will be used by businesses and the ones, of course, who are in need of it. Now, have a decent look at this video and think how we, at DSC BKBIT, can do something just like this to help our community. So, I'll ask Babab to share the screen and show the video Saya dilahirkan di Bojonegoro. Ibu saya mendidik saya boleh bermain, tapi bermainnya itu enggak boleh jauh-jauh. Uh, saya melihat kakak saya kebanjiran yang paling parah tahun 2007 di mana rumah itu sangat tenggelam, banyak korban jiwa yang ditimbulkan dan kakak saya itu kehilangan kemarin. Kemarin ya lumayan, kemarin. Ya. Kalau airnya semakin tinggi kan nggak nggak bisa lalu lintas kendaraan kan nggak bisa lewat kita biasanya pakai perahu paling ya kalau udah agak parah lagi kita ngungsi warga juga pasti resah kalau nggak sebelumnya belum diberitahu kan resah kalau sudah diberitahu kan nanti ada persiapan saya ketika kuliah di pens ini saya pertama kali tahu DSC itu dari dana Seharusnya kita bisa menghindari hal buruk terjadi ketika kita mengetahui apa yang akan terjadi. Dana membantu saya sekali dalam hal tersebut bersama tim untuk membuat aplikasi Elfloat. Alatnya itu bersifat kayak misalnya di sini bakalan ada banjir dari pemerintah bakal langsung tidak berdasarkan yang sebelum sebelumnya berdasarkan data kami itu berdasarkan dari WhatsApp. Jadi di setelah itu penduduk bisa ke posko dan dekat di sini ada lokasi lokasi poskonya terus kita bisa kayak ngeset arahnya bel kiri mau ke bel kanan gitu lagi ada karena kita memanfaatkan teknologi arahan juga dari Google oke okay, selesai oke okay, selesai oke okay. kemudian kita mencoba ke sana kita menunjukkan ke warga Bojonegoro Kalau sekarang kalau ada aplikasi ini kan bisa langsung masuk ke HP-nya masing-masing. Jadi semua warga langsung otomatis langsung tahu. Di sini kita milih Balai Desa, Mulia Mulia Agung, Agung ya. Raja Ara. Ya. Di sini bisa kita bisa lihat di posko ini ada berapa banyak orang. Membantu banget berarti ya, sangat amat membantu. Iya. Yeah. <laughs> ini rencana emang akan kami rilis ke Kabupaten Oh gitu Sisi. ya. This is the power of DSC, so it is all for the world. We can learn and teaching together and also to solve local problems. Dengan adanya aplikasi Elfood ini, saya merasa sangat senang sekali saya bisa membantu warga masyarakat Bojonegoro, terutama untuk kakak saya. Okay, as you have seen the video, now if you want to see 
uh, more such stories, you can scan this code here, QR code, and it will get to you to the developer community platform about the stories, and you can learn more about how DSC works. So now we'll talk the main important thing. What's the goal of DSC? What DSC do after all? Well, first thing, the major, the main important thing, the major thing, the DSC's goal runs around that the helping students bridge the gap between theory and practice. That's the main thing that drives us. And the second thing is, of course, building solutions, either by finding the problems by self or helping others build a solution. If someone has encountered a problem, we can help them build a solution for that. And of course, for these two, we need a community that, of course, uh, do things and help others. Now, for that, we'll establish a tech community that believes in sharing ideas and knowledge and also building solutions. And that's what DSC main objective is, like uh, what we have given from the Google. Now, what DSC BKBIT's vision is? Well, what we have planned for. Our plan and our vision is in our motto. Our motto is learn, build, solve, and content. That's our motto. Now, what our motto means? Well, the first thing, learn. Together, we'll learn by workshop, info sessions, and of course, Discord. Now, as we are all are forced to live indoors and conduct many of our workshops and other meetups online, we have chosen Discord for doing the same. As there, we will be establishing a community and going there. And it has many lots of features to do it with efficiently and with no hassle. The well, second thing, build. Well, it's a planned step-by-step -step plan. Now first, we'll build for campus. Now then, for local. And if we get a chance and get the opportunity we can even build for the global cause that will affect the population worldwide now doing this too will of course while building the products will solve problems and that will change the lives of many well that's the that's a really good thing and it's an appreciation we should do to ourselves now doing these three things will of course surely increase our skill set. We'll transcend from what we were as starting when we started learning. Now that's what our motto means. Now what our aim is. Our aim is to build a community that believes and works on our motto. A community of like-minded, a community that encourages others to learn and build together. A tech community in our campus that solves any problem that is visible to it. Now, at the end of it, all boils down to one single thing, and that is bridging the gap between theory and practice. Now, let me explain why it's important and what I mean with that. Now, here's an example. Now, here you can see this is Man, a genius when it comes to theory. He knows all ins and outs of the skills he is learning and can teach it to anyone. Now this is Preet, a genius when it comes to building. He's a genius builder, can build anything you throw, at, throw to him. And when it comes to theory, he just can't do it. The theory part is not his cup of tea. But we don't want to be any one of, only any one of them. Like we don't want to be just a theoretical person or just doing building stuff and we don't know the theory about it. What, what we want is extract the best from both of them. We want to be one priest who is the best of both, who knows the theory and can build too. And that's what bridging the gap between theory and practice means. And once the wise man said, perfectly balanced, as all things should be, perfect balance between theory and practice can change many lives. Now, how we'll achieve this? Well, the first step is by organizing workshops, 
info sessions, events, and all related to tech skills. Well, that's how we learn. And uh, that from that, we'll cover the one thing that is the theory. And some of which uh, events we have our programs organized by Google. And we as a DSC are responsible to host those programs in our respective colleges. Now, some of them are here listed in the timeline. Now, many of you are aware of this 30 days of Google Cloud, and you may have registered to it already. A similar to these upskills program, we have more upcoming programs in the coming months. And here's the timeline. Now, in the ongoing month, the October, we have 30 days of cloud. Now, probably in the next month or in December, we'll have an Android Academy DSC upskill. And uh, that will be much more like a 30 days of maybe Android skill or maybe Kotlin. And in Jan to Feb, we have an ML Academy solution challenge. Now, uh, it is it may be much more like ML Explore. And it will cover all the basics and ins and out of machine learning. Now, that's what the Google has provided us. And that's what their timeline is. And now the question is what we have planned for. Now here's the future event. Now here's what we have planned. In the upcoming week, we have an event dedicated to contributing to open source and how to participate in Hacktober Fest. And an uh, open source event organized by Ocean Digital Ocean and Dev. It is only concerned about the open source and uh, to encourage people to contribute to it. Now we'll be conducting conducting it on 9th of August 2020, of course, in next week. And not only this, it's uh, just a new future. And we have planned another event, a major event, and probably the end of this this month or next month. And that major event. Uh, will be of two or three days and that will have talks, seminars and hands-on workshops specific to each technology. So that's what it is. And also we are having an ongoing event about 30 days of cloud. And we may also conduct an event on that, explaining what Google Cloud is and how you can leverage its technology. Now these events are just for short-term goals. So now the question is, what's the big goal? What's the bigger goal? Now here's the bigger goal. Like we have learned everything, we have to implement it somewhere. Google organizes an contest, annual contest. That's the DSC Solution Challenge. Now what is the DSC Solution Challenge? The Solution Challenge is an annual contest presented by developer student clubs that invites students to develop solution for local community problems using one or more Google product or platform. Now, how you can register it? Well, registration is only meant for getting an info so that Google can assign mentors to each team. Now, any students over the age of 18 from a DSC affiliated university. Well, what do I mean from DSC affiliated university is that a uh, university having a DSC in the campus, like DSC BKBIC. Now, what will you do if you, your university or college doesn't have one? Well, you can contact to a DSC near you. That, that's also fine. You can registration through them. Like you can contact us if you are living near our college and you don't have a DSC in your college. And that's the registration part. Now comes the major part, that's the building part. Now you have to find a major problem affecting a wide population, or it could be a local problem, and build something that solves it. It could be a problem in your campus. It could be a problem uh, where you live, or it could be a problem, uh, problem faced by businessmen, local businessmen. Now, once you have built a product, you have to do the submission. Now you have to submit a solution with a two-minute demonstration video 
on how it can be used so that's the solution challenge and uh, it happens nearly at the end of the year now you may have some of you may have been aware of the solution challenge of 2020 that happened recently uh, previous month so here's the video for that and it uh, kindly explains what dsc is so i'll ask you to to play the video Developer Student Clubs are university-based communities where students learn about Google technology and use their skills to solve local problems. Welcome to the Developer Student Club's 2020 Solution Challenge Demo Day. Now you have seen what the Solution Challenge is. Now thousands of university across the globe participated in. in it and only the top 10 contestants are selected in the finals now if you want to join us you can join through our community platform go to dsc.community.dev uh, the link will be in the description below now there you will find a large search box you can search pilani there and the first result that's the bk billa institute of engineering technology will pop out and by going click and click on it you will it will be redirected to our community page just click join and voila you're a part of our community now this community platform joining this will only uh, be, be fruitful for getting notified if we organize any event in present or some upcoming event it's only for that now what if you want to ask questions and build a projects with us well join us on discord now there we will be solving your doubts on day to day basis if you have a doubt and you are on our discord server if you put it on it we'll surely get to it in couple of minutes well me and my team are there for solving your questions and we also encourage people to build projects that's the main focus we have so we'll see you, see you there on the discord scan this code or the link will be and the invite link will be in the description so we'll see you on the discord of course thanks for joining in now it's time for the q and a thanks for pressing to the end if you have any queries please shoot to it in the live chat box we'll happy to help you we'll wait for your question
okay i think there are no more queries so thank you for joining in again it means a lot i'll be looking forward for your joining to our community and building solutions thank you